to the press conference to announce uh, which uh, an amazing card top to bottom. It really is rare these days that you see two main events uh, on the same card in one night. This particular one taking place January the 28th in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas. January 28th, two world championship fights where you have two of the best fighters in their respective divisions fighting each other. Both of those fights extremely dangerous, extremely meaningful, and in my opinion are going to determine who is the best in this particular weight class. I really want to give a big thank you to the fighters for agreeing to these great matchups because that's what we, and I include myself there as the fans, like to see fights where you don't know who is going to win. Closely matched fights for the fans and that is exactly what, what January the 28th will be. I want to thank our sponsors, Corona. I want to thank the MGM Grand uh, Hotel and Garden for, their, for hosting this great event. And I want to thank uh, my co-promoters, Cyclone Promotions and TGB Promotions. I like to acknowledge Brittany uh, Goosen Brown. She's in attendance here. Uh, so pleasure to work with you and, and, and your team again. And then, of course, I want to acknowledge uh, somebody who is a legend in his own. He's a Hall of Famer and he's the manager of Carl Frampton, and that's Barry McGuigan. So please give a big hand of applause to Barry McGuigan. Uh, first, let me say a few words about uh, the fight between world champion Dejan and uh, Mikey, Mikey Garcia, that is. It is the most significant matchup in the lightweight division, no question about it. It's an extremely dangerous fight. I call it play, playing with fire for Mikey. Uh, the com combined record of this fight is 57-0 and 0 with 44 knockouts. So I can pretty much assure you that that fight will end up with a knockout, 80% knockout ratio. And this is easily, easily a main event in its own anywhere you look. So for Steven Espinosa, the president of Showtime Sports, to be able to put these two great matchups together on one card just shows you as well the passion he has and the passion Showtime Boxing has for our great sport of boxing. I'd like to uh, introduce to you now the president of Showtime Sports, my good friend, Steven Espinosa. Uh, thank you, Richard. Uh, throughout this year, Showtime has really, uh, I think without question, delivered the strongest lineup uh, of any network in boxing. Um, that includes this January 28th event, that includes next weekend here in Los Angeles, a December 10th event at the Galen Center, uh, which on Showtime will have three world title fights. Anthony Joshua uh, from Manchester, England, live in the afternoon. And then uh, Abner Morris, another Los Angeles product, will be taking on Jesus Cuellar for a featherweight title, plus uh, Julian Williams takes on Jamal Charlo. Um, but again, in televising the best and most significant matchups in 2016, what Showtime has been looking for is, is really the best fighters fighting the best. Um, top tier fighters in their prime fighting other top tier fighters. And that's what we have four of right here today. You know, in our main event, we have Carl Frampton, which uh, for my money, he is the 2016 fighter of the year. Um, there's a lot of people that agree with me. He defeated two undefeated world champions to unify titles at both 122 and 126 pounds. Um, there's no other fighter who's done what he has done in 2016. And again, for my vote, he is the fighter of the year. Leo Santa Cruz, all of you know him well here in Los Angeles. Uh, he is a three division world champion. He's always entertaining. Uh, his fight with Abner Mattis for me was the fight of the year in 2015. Uh, his fight this year with Carl is the 2016 fight of the year. So he's got a streak going of, of two consecutive fights of the year. Um, and I think he'll probably have another one with Carl uh, on January 28th for the 2017 fight of the year. Uh, in our co-main event, and I call it a co-main event like Richard said because this really uh, should be and is worthy of being a, a main event out of its own, uh, we have Dijon Zlatichinen, 
who is, uh, for those of you who don't know him, a fighter no one wants to fight. He is quietly one of the most avoided fighters in the lighter weight divisions. He's a power puncher, he's very aggressive, he's left-handed. He's someone that no one wants to fight. Uh, no one except, of course, Mikey Garcia. Uh, Mikey is a two division world champion. This will be uh, his attempt at a third. He is without question uh, one of the top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world. He asked for this fight. Dejan stepped up and agreed to it right away. This could have been a main event and would have been a main event uh, in, in February or March, but these two guys were so anxious to fight that we put it on the card in January 28 and the fans got a real treat. So again, We've got four top tier fighters, uh, the best in the sport, taking part all in one card. As Richard suggested, you know, the combined record of these fighters, 112 wins, one loss, 76 by knockout. These are four of the most skilled fighters in any division. There's no network that is doing fights like these. Two main event fights in one night, top fighters in their prime against other top fighters. It's a special night, you shouldn't miss it, thanks. Thank you, Stephen. Before I'm going to um, talk about Carl Frampton and Leo Santa Cruz, I want to spend some time on the co-main event uh, with Dejan and with Mikey. I always thought that uh, King Kong came from New York, but then I started to see some tape on Dejan, and I realized there is a King Kong in Montenegro as well, and he's sitting right there. One of the most devastating punches in the sport I have ever seen. And when I sat down with Mikey and with Robert and his team, I asked them, do you really want to fight this guy? And he said, I looked at Mikey, Mikey looked at me and he said, what do you think? I'm not going to win? I said, no, but this is really dangerous. Do you really want to fight this guy? I said, that's what champions do. He said, that's what champions do. And that's the kind of champion he is. And I told him, that is how legends are built. I believe today that Mikey Garcia is not only one of the most exciting, but frankly, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And in order to get there, to be there, to stay there, you need to face fighters like that. And that is what Mikey Garcia is all made of. It's a pleasure for me now to introduce to you his brother, who really doesn't need much of an introduction, a great fighter, he was a, he was a great fighter himself, world champion and a fantastic, one of the best trainers in the world today, and that is Robert Garcia. Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon to everybody. Pues, ¿qué podemos decir? Mira, estamos muy contentos de estar aquí en esta cartelera. Leo Santa Cruz, un gran peleador, buen amigo, lo puedo considerar. Y obviamente contra Carl Frampton es, es un, una tremenda pelea. Y pues ser parte de esta función es algo, algo de lo que nos emociona mucho. Y, y Mike uh, se motiva y le va a echar muchas ganas para darles una buena función. You know, it, it's great just being in this undercard, you know, with, uh, with Leo Santa Cruz, who I could consider a friend and a uh, great fighter. S same thing uh, uh, with uh, Carl Frampton. You know, it's just great being part of this card. Uh, Mike is training hard. Mike is going to be ready and prepared to, uh, to give everybody a great fight. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And now it's a, a pleasure and honor for me to introduce to you, as I mentioned before, one of the best fighters in the sport today. He is already a two-time world champion and doesn't really need much introduction. It's a pleasure for me to introduce to you for the first time, and hopefully many times more, hint, hint, Mikey, the great Mikey Garcia. Muy buenas tardes. Este, muchas gracias a todos por acompañarnos hoy en este bonito día. Estoy muy contento con, con el apoyo que me ha brindado todo el público. En realidad, se los agradezco mucho. Eh, estuve ausente dos años y medio, pero ya que regresé, les prometo que viene lo mejor de mi carrera. Asunto de mi próximo combate, pues 
es una oportunidad para mí para lograr un tercer campeonato mundial en tercera división. Pienso que no va a ser fácil. Eh, mi oponente es un campeón mundial establecido, está invicto, es fuerte, es peligroso. Pero esos son los retos que queremos, esos son los retos que yo quiero. Quiero enseñarle al mundo eh, la clase de peleador que yo soy, el nivel de, de habilidades que, que tengo. Y esta va a ser una oportunidad para hacerlo. Este año del 2017 pienso que va a ser un año muy grande en mi boxeo. Pienso que va a ser un, un año que la gente lo va a recordar con grandes victorias, grandes triunfos, donde yo pienso conquistar varias divisiones. Quiero recordarles a todos que vengan y nos acompañen eh, el 28 de enero porque va a ser una pelea muy buena. Vienen las cosas más grandes, las peleas más grandes. Quiero los retos más grandes, ya sea en la división de ligero o super ligero. Pero sí, quiero, quiero que todo el mundo sepa que yo sí no, no ando con mamadas. Yo sí quiero las peleas grandes. So first, just want to say thank you to everybody who came out. Lovely day here. I really appreciate all the support that everybody has given me. Even though I was gone for two and a half years, it seems like nobody forgot about me. And now that we're back... We're looking for big things, making up right where, where I left off. Um, I'm very happy to be given this opportunity to claim a third title in third division. I think it's a great fight. It's, it's an amazing fight. Uh, my, my opponent, he's an undefeated world champion, hungry to show everybody what he has. Um, he's very dangerous. Everybody that I speak to that knows boxing, media, analysts, you name it, they all say that it's a very dangerous fight for me. But those are the kind of fights that I want. Those are the kind of fights that you need to really prove yourself. And this is only the beginning. This, uh, this 2017 will be a great year for me. I think it's going to be a huge year. I want to uh, win multiple titles and maybe conquer multiple divisions in this upcoming year. And um, I want to invite everybody to come out January 28th because it's definitely a great, great show. Um, I'm sure I'm going to give everything that the fans are, are anxiously waiting. And I'm sure my opponent's going to do the same. So this next year will be great. Only the beginning for, for Mikey Garcia. I want to take on the, uh, the biggest challenges, the biggest names, whether it's in the lightweight or super lightweight division. I'm here ready to work with everybody to make those fights happen. Because it's not, it's not very often that a fighter can do that. A lot of times people are managing, promoting, and they're guided different things. They got different agendas, but that's what I want. I want to make sure that I get the fans the fights that they want. And that's what it's all about. January 28th will only be the beginning. And I guarantee you guys, the best of my career is yet to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mikey. It's a pleasure now for me to introduce to you the co-promoter for this particular fight. The fight is brought to you by Ringstar in association with DB, Dibella Entertainment, Alex Dombrov, the head of business and legal affairs of Dibella Entertainment, who will introduce to you Team Tzlakacin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Alex Dombrov uh, from Dibella Entertainment. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank uh, some of the people who uh, made today happen, uh, Richard Schaefer and Ringstar Promotions and the rest of his staff, uh, Trey, Bruce, Nicole, uh, Arlene, everyone over there, um, folks from TGB Promotions, Brittany uh, and Tom and Irma, um, Carl Frampton and Leo Santa Cruz uh, for allowing us uh, to share the spotlight uh, with them. And of course, uh, Steven Espinosa of Showtime, uh, which is the network that made Dijon Zlatichanin uh, a household name uh, when he put him on uh, a few years ago in Birmingham, Alabama against an undefeated fighter named Ivan Redcatch, who we promoted at the time. Um, and I remember uh, down there with us in Birmingham, Dijon at the time was a bit of an unknown entity, uh, was his manager, Alex Vaisfeld, who's 
sort of a crazy uncle to DeBella Entertainment. We're a small, close-knit company. Alex is sort of our crazy uncle. And Alex said to me, there is no doubt Dejan Zlatichanin is going to win this fight. There is no doubt Dejan Zlatichanin is going to be a world champion. And there is no doubt that Dejan Zlatichanin is going to be a star uh, in boxing. He beat Ivan Redcatch. Uh, he became a world champion. And um, based on the way he's performed in those fights, based on the opportunity now has in front of him, he is on the precipice of becoming a star in the sport of boxing. So uh, I now just want to introduce uh, Dejan Zlatichanin's manager, um, a great friend of DeBella Entertainment, uh, someone we consider part of our family, and one of the great prognosticators in the sport of boxing, one of the great boxing minds in the world, uh, Alex Weisfeld. Good afternoon. I'm a crazy uncle. I was talking about. Um, that was a very hard uphill road for Dan to get where he was going, and uh, he had to go to different places, uh, fight fights that he wasn't supposed to win in uh, other people's mind, and he won them. Uh, he knows how to be an underdog, and he knows how to become a favorite. Uh, I can guarantee you that this kid knows every aspect of that game and when the second he, the lights will go on he will step into that ring you're gonna you're gonna see something amazing and, and Mikey is gonna put up his best and, and Dan is gonna put up his best and everybody is gonna see a great fight without further ado I want to represent you Dan Zlatikani Zdravo, želim da pozdravim sve prisutne i da kažem da sam jako uzbuđen zbog ove borbe. Ovaj, znam da je Mikey u, jako popularan u Americi i da je, kako ga kažu, buduća zvijezda found for poundi, ali vjerujem da to neće biti jer da ću ja to spričati i da će 28. januara upravo zabilježiti prvi poraz u 35 pobjeda. First, I want to tell everyone that I'm so excited because I'm on this big on this big show and uh, I fight the uh, through everything everyone thinks that he's uh, uh, pound for pound star Mikey Garcia and uh, I want to tell everyone that I will win that fight oh, I... 28. januara fanovi boksijske moći će da uživaju u borbi jer e, Majki će naići na nešto što do sada nije se sretao da mora će da bježi i da, da, da se spašava po ringu. On January 28. Majki will uh, have a big uh, opponent uh, against him and he needs to run uh, around the ring because I will go to him. Ne bih ja previše da dužim jer evo koliko mogu ovo da primetimo malo se mučimo sa jezikom ali sigurno da 28. moći će da vide odbrano moje titule. Uh, they will uh, I want to tell you will see uh, I uh, my defending of the title and you will enjoy in the fight. Thank you. Hvala. Thank you. Okay, now on to the rematch of what was, in my opinion, Stephen already mentioned, the fight of the year 2016, which is Carl Frampton and Leo Santa Cruz. We just came back from a press stop in Dublin, uh, in Belfast, Ireland, uh, which was fantastic, and it truly really shows you what we think about this card. Usually international press tours or outdoor press events are really reserved for pay-per-view events. So this is really, these two events together uh, could easily be a pay-per-view. So all of you are, who are subscribers to Showtime, thank you to Showtime for bringing this card without asking you to reach in your pocket and not doing it as a pay-per-view. So we had a tremendous turnout in Belfast uh, it was fantastic. We went on sale with the tickets yesterday. 
Uh, as you know, the fight will take place January 28th at the MGM Grand. Tickets went on sale and this about out of the 13,000 tickets or so for sale, almost half of the tickets were gone in the first day. A huge, huge buy yesterday, a huge rush for tickets and it's no surprise. Ticket prices are starting as as little as $50. So for $50 you can see one of the best cards in recent memory and the ringside tickets are $500 and then there's anything in between. I think well over half of the arena is scaled for $100 and $50 a ticket. So make sure, be there, be part of this great, great event. On one side you have the Fighting Irish and on the other hand you have the Aztec Warrior. You mix these two together, you know it can only be another fight of the year candidate. These, kind, these two guys, they could fight 10 times and you would have 10 times a fight of the year. And probably 10 times a very close decision as we've seen the first time around. These are our modern day gladiators the definition of modern day gladiators. Yes, a big hand to these two guys. Before uh, I'm gonna introduce uh, Leo, I'd like to uh, acknowledge his father, uh, uh, who is his trainer as well, uh, Jose Santa Cruz. Uh, he, uh, as we know, the first time around, uh, was battling cancer and still does so, but I have uh, very positive news that his cancer is in remission. He's doing much better. So I'm very, very happy to report that. It's a pleasure now to ask uh, Jose, uh, Leo's brother, Tony, up to the podium to say a few words. Does he want to come up? Come on. <laughs> Hola, uh, buenas tardes a todos. Um, por estamos echando ganas aquí con mi con mi hermano. Um, yo sé que mi papá ahorita está un poco todavía enfermo, ya ya está recuperándose, pero yo le estoy echando ganas aquí con uh, con mi papá. Él me dice de, afu de, de afuera que cómo qué combinaciones darle a mi hermano y este te estamos haciendo todo bien. Este él se está viendo fuerte, mi hermano está fuerte y este vamos a ir al, al 100 ahora a agarrar ese cinto para atrás. Yeah. Yeah. Can you translate? Yeah. Can you turn the mic up, please? Hello. It's ready. Yep. Yeah. We are uh, currently working hard with my brother. Uh, my dad's been a little, a little sick, but he's better now. Uh, he's been telling me what kind of drills to work, what combinations to work with him. And uh, we're just happy to be uh, preparing for this fight. Uh, we are, got a good camp and we're ready to go. Thank you. Well, uh, the man I'm going to introduce to you now, I have known him for a long time and uh, is truly one of the most exciting fighters in the ring. Never in a boring fight, a volume puncher, very, very dedicated to the sport. Uh, he is already a three-time world, three-division world champion, one of the most accomplished fighters coming out of the boxing-rich uh, hotbed of Mexico, clearly one of the superstars from Mexico, and really with his accomplishments in the ring, has become one of the best fighters ever to come out of Mexico. He knows that he needs to make adjustments uh, and he will make adjustments. We know he had a lot of distractions and these are not excuses. Uh, but you will see a Leo Santa Cruz on January the 28th like you have never seen a Leo Santa Cruz. He wants to set the record straight and it's a pleasure and an honor now for me to introduce to you my good friend Leo Santa Cruz. Primeramente, muy buenas tardes a todos. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, estoy muy contento de estar aquí y estoy muy agradecido a toda la gente, a todos los fans que me siguen apoyando a partir de que uh, recibí la primera derrota. Este, ustedes no, no me dieron su espalda, me siguieron apoyando, me dieron este, palabras de, 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 de más motivación, que me motivaron a, a querer subir al ring este, para atrás de nuevo y agarrar la revancha. También, este, 
le quiero agradecer a mi manager, a O'Heyman, este, por haber tratado este, todo lo posible para agarrarme la revancha para atrás y que fuera aquí en Las Vegas, un poco cerca de, como pues se puede decir, mi segunda casa, ya que aquí en Los Ángeles es mi casa, pero Las Vegas también está muy cerca, so, estoy muy contento, este, motivado y le quiero agradecer a todo mi equipo, a, a Showtime, a Stephanie Espinosa, a Richard Schaefer por esta oportunidad y como te dijo el, este, la primera la primer pelea, este, mi papá estuvo enfermo, no, este, yo, entre, yo entrené duro, entrené duro, pero no entrené, pienso que a, a, como debía haber entrenado, este, hubo amor, errores que hicimos, porque ya que mi papá no, está, no estaba ahí corrigiéndonos, este, pero ahorita gracias a Dios, gracias a todos los, este, los rezos de la gente que nos dieron, mi papá ya está ahorita, ya casi, su, su cáncer ya casi está, este, este, ya no está ahí el cáncer casi, so, él va a estar ahí todo mi campamento entrenando conmigo fuerte y vamos a ir a dar una gran pelea, si ustedes miraron la primera pelea, este, fue una pelea que les gustó a todos los fans, a toda la gente y también le quiero dar las gracias a Carl Frampton por uh, taking the, the rematch en Vegas, uh, Carl Frampton es un gran peleador, Carl Frampton es un gran fighter, uh, like you guys saw, he got the respect from you guys because he showed that he's a great fighter, a great champion and I know it's going to be a pretty even fight this time too, you know, it's a pretty close fight because uh, we both, you know, sport champions and we both train really hard for our families, for, for you guys, for the fans to give you guys great, great shows and I know that this wrist match is going to be, you know, very hard too, it's going to be tough but that's why we're going to go in the gym, train, uh, focus and just go out there and give you guys another fight of the year and even better than the first one. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. Now, uh, it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the team from the world champion, Carl Frampton. First off, uh, one of the most recognized uh, trainers now in the world who is training many, many champions. Uh, uh, he really, uh, in the UK market, has become the trainer and is sought out by many fighters. Uh, he is training as well uh, David Hay who had a quite eventful press conference of his own uh, yesterday in England for his fight. But it is a pleasure now to introduce to you Shane McQuigan. Good afternoon. Um, no, I just want to uh, reiterate what Leo has been saying. It's going to be a great fight, the first one. The stars make fights. These two, uh, these two could fight, as as Richard said, ten times, and it would be a great fight. You know, Leo had a lot of distractions in in, in his in the camp with his dad, but um, and I think he's going to be a better fighter the second time. But this was Carl Frampton's first time stepping up to 126 pounds. He didn't know where he was <clears throat> supposed to be training at, what way he was going to be walking in the ring at. So these were new experiences for Carl Frampton. So. You know, they both learned from that first fight and I think the second fight is going to be a better fight. They're both going to give a little bit more and uh, the fans are going to be the ones that's going to enjoy, enjoy the action. But I'm really looking forward to it. Camp's been going great. Can't wait to get out to Vegas and start really preparing for the last little final leg. And you're going to see the same decision, a win. Sorry everyone, with uh, Frampton, but it's going to be a great fight. Thank you. Well, we'll see about that. but. Uh... <laughs> We might have some different opinions here, right? Yeah, yeah you see? <laughs> so, uh, again, I want to thank Cyclone Promotions, uh, the promoter for Carl Frampton. We have Rupert here and Jake McGuigan as well. It's a pleasure to work with your team, and I look forward to continuing to work with you to January the 28th and beyond. Now I'd like to uh, turn over the microphone to the manager of Carl Frampton. As I mentioned before, a legend on his own, former world champion, and a great, a great man as well, very passionate about the sport, and that's Barry McGuigan. Uh, good afternoon. How delightful it is to be in such wonderful weather. We had uh, pretty foul weather back ho home in Ireland. Uh, it's fantastic to be here. This is a great occasion. Michael Garcia, Dejan, 
Leo Santa Cruz, what a fighter, incredible fighter. Carl Frampton, an incredible fighter. It's going to be a magnificent show. Delighted to be working with Richard uh, and Tom Brown. And of course, the man himself, uh, Al Heyman, top, 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 top guy. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, I know you're going to get value for money. Espinosa, Stephen Espinosa, putting this show on. Not charging anybody. We love this free-to-air stuff, well, relatively so. He's a really great man, and uh, a whole lot of you. is Sam Brown down here, and, and his boys, fantastic. It's really great to be involved with you. Now it is a distinct pleasure and honor for me to introduce to you a man who has quickly become a legend in Ireland and in the UK, and, and one of the most exciting fighters in the world, always there to perform really amplifies the word entertainment in boxing. One of the best fighters in the world today, the world champion, Carl Frampton. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you. Um, I just want to just kind of back up what, what everyone else has said up here. I think that this rematch with Leo Santa Cruz is, is going to be an amazing fight. The first one is considered one of the fights of the year. I don't think this can be any different. I think you know we're kicking off 2017 with a bang. Um, Leo is, a, is an amazing fighter. I want to thank him for giving me the chance to fight for his title in July. Um, I was more than happy to give him the rematch um, straight away. And, and these are the types of fights that, that I want to be involved in. And you know, if you want people to remember you in 20 or 30 years' time when you when you when you finish boxing, you need to be fighting guys like Leo Santa Cruz. Um, I, I respect him a hell of a lot. I respect him and his team. I know this is going to be a tough fight, but I'm preparing very, very hard in the gym. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that, that I remain the champion and, and bring the title back home to, to Ireland. Um, but I have a lot of respect for Leo and the rest of his team. And uh, muchos gracias. Gracias. Very good. Now, uh, before we're going to pose to fighters, I just want to make uh, one last point. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Sam Watson and his sons, Brandon and Marcus as well. It's great. It's not a big fight if they're not there, so they're here. It must be a big fight. And then I really want to thank somebody who, in my absence of the sport, has, and I'm making this point, usually I make it in the beginning of the press conference, but this time I want to make it in the end because it really means a lot to me. Um, I want to thank Al Heyman for the passion, for the passion he has for the sport of boxing. He has been criticized over the past years tremendously, but is this this man who we as boxing fans should thank, yeah, yeah. should thank for putting these kind of matches together and supporting the fighters. I've never seen an advocate who is more pro fighter than Al Heyman. I don't want to thank my good friend Al Heyman for that. Yeah. Having Having said that now, in summary, two great fights, evenly matched, the best in their respective divisions fighting each other, two 50-50 fights, the mecca of boxing, Las Vegas, the fight capital of the world, and all that, all that for as little as $50, or if you can't make it, you can watch it for free on Showtime Sports. I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all, and I hope to see you all in Las Vegas. Thank you very much for coming. Okay.
already. The only thing is, like, she reminds me of my sister, so it's super awkward. Like, literally, I'll show you a finger and you go, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> awkward. Let's go! 